Call the meeting to order. Call the meeting take roll, please. Sue? Here. Kim? Here. Marty? Here. Lonnie? Here. Here. Thank you, John. Stand for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need to bring everybody's attention to the Hopeless Meeting Act up on the wall there. Welcome to read it at your leisure. You have the agenda before you and there are no changes. So we'll go to the minutes of the previous meeting. Are there any corrections to the minutes? Now we'll go to the treasurer's report, some comments. Questions? <coughs> now we'll go to the presentation of bills and new vendors. Questions on the bill? Communications, Max, you got any? I don't have any. Is anybody else? Oh, there was. I just read it. But if you want to introduce any bills to the school board association, you need to do that. Okay, patrons, comments or presentations? I want to welcome everybody to our board meeting. Any comments? or anything before we get started. Thank you for coming. Reports of standing committee, Sue? Kim? Marty? Oh, we did have building and grounds meeting. Pretty well covered that on the agenda. Okay. Lonnie? Huh? I don't have anything on negotiations. Reports of building principals, counselors, and district committees. Mr. Hagee, I'll start with you. Yeah. Um, just a few quick things. Uh, uh, custodial staff has done an outstanding job this summer, uh, uh, particularly uh, with the computer tech uh, room uh, lab that is now going to be Mr. Ferentz's classroom. They really did a nice job. Uh, in transforming that, but uh, uh, hats off to our custodial staff on a job well done. Uh, NOVAC uh, scholarship recipients, everybody has accepted, and we'll be cutting those checks here sh shortly. Um, we've had a number of meetings with uh, a variety of different parents, parents, excuse me, uh, regarding their son or daughter's academic progress uh, throughout the month of June. Uh, the NSSRS reports have been pushed through. Uh, again, Rebecca Bannick, uh, our uh, administrative assistant up front, has done really, really a nice job uh, in keeping herself updated uh, with all the different wrinkles that they throw at her each and every year with that program. Uh, and so those state reports have been pushed through, and, and Rebecca has done a great job. Uh, the draft document for the new grade level state mathematics standards uh, came out uh, here at the beginning of July into June. Uh, I'll be meeting with uh, Sandy Bartholomew and our math teachers as we look at our, uh, specifically this next year, our junior high uh, math series and how 
the, uh, the new standards match up with, um, with our current textbooks. Uh, and I guess uh, outside of those things, uh, we're anxiously awaiting uh, the start of the new school year uh, come August. So does anybody have any questions? Who's got a question? When you're talking about um, Mrs. Vanek and what she was working on, what is that? Uh, NSSRS is a state reporting uh, system and with that tracks students across the uh, state and there's a lot of data that has to be uh, uh, they call it pushing it through uh, regarding each student in our district and Rebecca heads up that and she's done a great job. And that data is stored? That you data is stored uh, in Lincoln with the Nebraska Department of Education. Okay, thanks. I'll say that she's done that because it is very complicated and takes a lot of time and she really has to stuck with it. Done a real good job with it. I mean, it about drove everybody nuts for a while. Um, trying to get across the state and trying to get that thing done, but she done a good job with it. Okay, any questions for Mr. Hick? Mr. Alexander, you have a report? Um, just some things that we're working on currently. First of all, thank you for uh, the invitation to board meeting and, and welcome to the Board of Public School District. It's been a pleasure to all the people that have been so helpful and kind in, in welcoming myself and my family. I've appreciated that very much. So thank you to all of you that have done been a part of that. Uh, secondly, at the elementary, um, right now I'm currently moved in housewise too moved in and trying to acquaint myself with all the things that are happening and taking place and everybody's busy at work up there and uh, so it looks good it's come along good um, we're working currently on the implementation of the map test which I'll address the board about at another time when when everybody's ready for that and then uh, we're preparing some professional development for the staff on the map test map stands for major of academic progress test it's a it's the computerized, uh, standardized test that's required by Rule 10 once a year to get. So um, get, getting prepared for that, preparing <coughs> staff to uh, attend a training session on that. Um, then right now, today, reviewing elementary handbooks and getting them, those are ready to go, student parent handbooks and teacher handbooks as well. So that's like that. That's kind of where I'm at right now. We're looking forward to working with you. Thank you. <coughs> okay, no counselors here, so we'll go to the old business, academic standards policy, second reading. Is there a motion to approve second reading? Bonnie second by Marty, we approve the academic standards policy second reading. Any further discussion? I guess there's a copy of it here in your packet, so which once again is required by state law. <coughs> no further discussion, we'll have a roll call vote on the motion. Uh, Kim? Yes. Marty? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Tom? Yes. I vote yes. So, yes. Motion carried. Okay. Next is new business is consider action on a bond issue for November. Uh, I guess, Marty, maybe for buildings and grounds, I'd ask you to address it before we okay. do anything. Um, you know, I guess everybody's aware of we've struggled with what to do with the building situation, fire code, safety code, and the heating and air conditioning. 